In August 1859, a 32-year-old timid, bashful, sensitive, diffident soul with a horror for speaking in public was presenting a paper to the Berlin Academy about the density of prime numbers on the real line. The brilliant mathematician giving the historic lecture was Bernard Riemann. And in the course of the talk, he made an incidental remark which to this day has remained an enigma known as the Riemann hypothesis. The hypothesis simply states that Riemann zeta function, an elegantly expressed analytic function, has all the complex zeros on a vertical line in the complex plane. When it is about Riemann, every mathematician talks hyperbole. The lyrics you are about to hear is Professor Apostle expressing his admiration for Riemann. Where are the zeros of zeta of s? GFP Riemann has made a good guess. They are all on the critical line, stated he, and the density is 1 over 2 pi log t. This statement of Riemann's has been like a trigger, and many good men with whim and with vigor have attempted to find with mathematical rigor what happens to zeta as mod e gets bigger. The efforts of Lando and Bohr and Kramer, Hardy and Littlewood and Titchmars are there. In spite of their effort and skill and finesse, in locating the zeros there has been no success. In 1914, G.H. Hardy did find an infinite number that lie on the line. His theorem, however, won't rule out the case that there might be a zero at some other place. Let P be the function pi minus Li. The order of P is not known for x i. If square root of x times log x we could show, then Riemann's conjecture would surely be so. Related to this is another enigma concerning the Lindelof function nu sigma, which measures the growth in the critical strip. On the number of zeros it gives us a grip. But nobody knows how this function behaves. Convexity tells us it can have no waves. Lindelof said that the shape of its graph is constant when sigma is more than one half. Oh, where are the zeros of zeta of s? We must know exactly. It won't do to guess. In order to strengthen the prime number theorem, the integrals contour must never go near them. Andre Weil has improved an old Riemann's fine guess by using a fancier zeta of s. He proves that the zeros are where they should be, provided the characteristic is p. There is a moral to draw from this long tale of woe that every young genius among you must know. If you tackle a problem and seem to get stuck, take it, mod p, and you will have better luck. <laughs>